All right, so here we go again. I am interviewing all of Colleen's finest live in the studio here at B106, and I got one of Colleen's finest, Gary Jones, in this thing. What's, what's going up, on, what's man? What's up? What's up, man? What's happening with you, bro? Man, good to be in the building, finally. Yes, finally. Finally, making something happen in the city. Now, I got a different story for every artist that I interview. I, every, I got a different story, but here's the weird thing about Gary Jones, when I first met him, you were promoting a party, like yeah. a stripper party at yeah. Babes. Yep, yep. And I he didn't say nothing. BBW. About, yeah, he, yeah, exactly. He didn't say nothing about rapping. He didn't say yeah. nothing. He's an MC or anything to that effect. a time and a place for that, right there. We was on, we was on some business, yeah, show stuff. Yeah, I know it's gonna come around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I found out that he rapped and heard his music. I'm like, yo, you really nice. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so first of all, how how long you been here in Colleen, man? Man, since uh, probably like I was like five. Okay, like so you've been here. Yeah, I've been here. For okay, a you've been here. Um, how did you? So first, so if I ask somebody who is Gary Jones, what would they tell me? <laughs> 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 or, or should I just ask you? Because I know it may be different answers to that question. You go get all kinds of answers <laughs> for that one, uh, man. The controversy king, man. That's that's what it is right now. I'm trying to cool down. But, mm-hmm. but you know, I, I'm just trying to prove my point, man, that I'm not to be messed with right now. Like, I, I, I done put too much into it, and I'm ready to go, you know, as far as I got to. It's going to be some Drake and Pusha T type <laughs> stuff going on. Be nice, man. And they know. Be good. Y'all y'all know that. Y'all seen the 10K uh, dish track, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> Better stay out of my way. Okay, so how long you been rhyming? Man, uh, rhyming yeah. since like sixteen. I just doing the whole music thing in general. Man, you know I started saying? when I was sixteen. My my brother had took me to the studio, <laughs> and we you know did a couple couple tracks or whatever. Yeah. But I ain't really just turned into that killer till I went to the feds. Cause I was locked up with people from all over the world, different styles and genres, and that's why like you can't put me in no South category. Just say, oh, he just sound like he from the South. Yeah. So, nah, I can go. I'll be really on some East Coast type stuff because they more hungry with yeah. their delivery. You yeah. Know what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's I started taking it serious probably about like four years ago. Okay. Okay. That's when I took it. All right, so I, I can imagine you in there. Are you writing rhymes while you locked up? Or, oh, or, what? Uh, man, oh my God. It was, I, I sharpened myself. All you got is radio. So we, I listen to radios. I take whatever song was hot and I'll go remix it. Right. Take their style, use their style. Ba- basically playing with, you feel what I'm saying, until I found my own style. You feel what I'm saying? Kind of like similar like with how Drake and Wayne do. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? They'll hop on somebody's track, Amigos track, anything. And do a better job and than they did. And do a better yeah. job than they did. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's, it's really just sharpening yourself to just basically be like, you know, I can I can pretty much get into any lane. Mm-hmm. If you versatile like that, man, you for sure going to pop. Mm-hmm. For sure. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. So so you started the rhyming. You you were starting it, you know, in the feds, and then, yeah. then you got out. And so, like I said, I know you from party promoting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you yeah. were doing the, the Friday nights at one of the, uh-huh. was it Country Rock Ice, or something like that? Yeah, Ice, uh-huh. that's what it was, Country okay. Rock, yeah. So you st- stopped doing that or, or what? Or it's all come, like, break it down for me. All right, all right. So my plan in the feds was, because, you know, I, I went in when I was 20. So mm-hmm. I was just like, I used to just hear people talk about social media, right. uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Right. I, I ain't know nothing about all right. that. So <laughs> I used to try to take what they, the information they give me and figure out how I'm going to utilize it when I get out. Okay, boom. It's social media. I can get this many friends, this many followers. I can I can market my own self. Yeah. So it, 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 anybody that know me, I ain't got no group. I don't got no click. I don't got nothing. You see me as me by myself. You feel what I'm saying? So I was just like, how can I do this without depending on somebody else? So once I got tapped into social media and then social media, you start finding out a bunch of people's characters. Like yeah. For real for real. Yeah. And they really put their self out there. Then they'll try to come for you. Well, you come for me and I ain't doing nothing to you. I'm going to take it all away. Yeah. So people yeah. really just started saying, oh, he embarrassing people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so then the following grew. So once the following grew, then people started reaching out. Hey, man, we want you to promote for us. Yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. You know, so I started doing that. Then I got hooked up with uh, Lisa Safety. She had Jam Rock. She was like, man, I, I see every time you come in, 
you know, people come with you. So then she gave me a contract for like a year with Jamrock. But then with the club business, I, I've i been in it. So I know the real. Yeah. And it'd be a lot of faking. It'd be a lot of perception, I guess you could say. And that's just the industry, period. It, mm -hmm. A lot of it be perception. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, man, I want the real check. Yeah. Parties, you can make some money. You right. gotta compete with people. People be doing some real salty stuff. Make you want to just pop somebody dead in the mouth. <laughs> be you nice. Know? Remember, I told you, be nice. Uh, be nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. See, I gotta, I gotta try to calm down and be like, no, we're not going back to the old Gary. Yeah. You know, we gotta, we gotta think business. Yeah. If you're gonna go anywhere, so yeah. You know, I started doing the club thing. People started booking me or whatnot. But then, you know, I kind of got out of that because I started seeing a lot of fake, a lot of backstabbing mm -hmm. with everybody, mm -hmm. you know, from the, even the people you're doing business with. So I just fell back when got the guaranteed check. Ain't nothing wrong with going getting a nine to five. I heard that one. If you got to go get. And, and this is for all the listeners, man. Ain't nothing wrong with going to get no nine to five. Don't listen to nobody talking about be your own boss. No, you do that on your own time, your free time. You go get a check wherever you got to go get a check. Yeah. At. You feel what I'm saying? Because yeah. your kids going to be priority first. Yeah. And you can ask any one of my baby mamas. I don't owe no child support. <laughs> I, I heard got, that. I got, it up. Yeah, I got three kids. Look look, look what Drake going through right yeah. now. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you don't want somebody to put no business out there, especially about your kid. You don't care about your kid? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. So describe your music. I know you were saying that you didn't want to sound like you're from down south or whatever. How would with, you describe with your the, sound? With the... Right now, I've just really been just playing. Mm -hmm. I've really just been playing. <laughs> the only time I get serious is when, like, if I got to get personal, then I get yeah. serious. But really, I've just been, you know, nowadays, everybody follow trends. Right. So you got to kind of get in with, you know, whatever trend is popping, whatever song is popping, remix it or, or, or have something that's similar to it. Mm -hmm. Now you can gain listeners a little better. You feel what I'm saying that? Oh, dang! Okay. Oh, that sound like such and such. Okay. Whoop, yeah. whoop. You know. Yeah. Just to get 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 a get a fan base going. You know where the people because people done diluted the rap game so bad. Some nowadays. people can say that. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. people don't even want to listen to you if they know you local. They be like, oh, he local. Now they ain't even gonna give you a chance because there's so many SoundCloud rappers that put this garbage out here. So you gotta figure Tell out em. different marketing. Tell them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find a different way, man. You gotta figure out a different way, a strategy to to get gain your listeners. Yeah. But then the the more and you can't give up, man. I don't care if I get one view, two views a day. I'm sharing my music every day on my pages. This is getting shared somewhere because every view gonna count, every view gonna add up, and that's why I can say just locally, I can do ten, twenty thousand just locally. I ain't even dropped nothing on World Star yet. You feel what I'm saying? Because, see, people, they're dropping on World Star, but they ain't doing it the right way. Right. See, when I drop, I right. want this thing to be on, like, the front page right. for, like, a week. Right. Like, nigga, this is the future, the, the, the feature artist yeah. for the whole week. Yeah. Now, now once they see it, now we're going to go outside of clean. Then that's when, you know, you're going to get all the roaches. Everybody going to start growing antlers and stuff. <laughs> I've been riding with Gary. No, yeah, you yeah. ain't been. No. Yeah. You ain't getting the only person probably going to get a pass to be Trey. Trey <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Appreciate you. Hey, man, big shout out to Trey, man, real talk, because <laughs> that, that's probably the only radio station that's really, you know, actually putting the effort to make sure that somebody gets some I'm, kind I'm of, trying, because I know the struggle of an unsigned man. artist. I know the struggle of a trying to and get... And the thing is, yeah. it's so much talent in Colleen. It is. If somebody pop out of here, it's just going to open up so many doors. It's, going, it's already a lot of money flowing through the city right now. A lot of artists getting familiar with the city and stuff like that. Different club. The music scene popping right now. Right now is the time to get in it. For sure, for sure. So let's piggyback on something you just said, man. You said that Colleen has a lot of talented artists. A lot. What's the problem, though? Why haven't we seen that many Colleen artists leave Colleen and blow it up like that? Um, what do you think? What's in your in your perspective? I believe that everybody's missing something. Neither they have the money to to fund their career to get somewhere, but their music is trash. Or or neither they rap good as hell and they just ain't got the money to put it, it gotta go hand in hand. Yeah. You know. Gotta have the whole package. Yeah, you gotta have the whole package and you gotta know the business also. Mm -hmm. Um it's a lot of bridges that you gotta, you know, 
you got to make sure it stay mended together. You mm-hmm. can't be sitting here burning bridges up and stuff like that. It's it's really like a road. Yeah. That you're going to travel, man. You're going to have ups and downs. You're going to get burned. You're going to get messed over. You just got to, you know, it's a process. Yeah. But that's what makes it even better once you finally get there, you know. But I, I, I think it's going to happen. Okay. Once, once somebody pop, it's going to open up a lot of doors because then it's going to it's going to shine a major light on Texas. And really, Texas is too big, period, not to have as much talent as we got. I mean, Atlanta is really like big yeah atlanta new york florida you know for texas to be this size man we sh- we need to have a lot more but it you know everybody be too busy beefing with each other and- i was telling uh a few of my uh uh cousins in chicago i was like man it's comedians that don't leave the state of texas and get money it's yeah. artists that don't leave you can, texas you can tour just in <laughs> texas by right. itself and make right. money it's it's proven that you know you can actually become a millionaire just like in Texas. Yeah, it's big enough. Yeah. So I heard uh, you wanted to take a page out of Safari's book or uh, something like that. What's in the bag over there, man? Uh, what, what's, uh, what's going on in, in the bag right there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's man, in the bag you know, over we, there, man? We, we doing something different, man. Yeah. You know, <laughs> these people be out here be talking and stuff, man. So you know, so, I so he know it's real. Look at that. Hey, I, I told you we finna hit the strip club in a minute. Look I, at that. I told, I told Trey, man, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna flood your office, <laughs> man. I'm gonna come and flood your office real quick, man. Let camera, them know, man. You camera know. three, we got a Saturday. Hey, we got hey. a nice firm Saturday. Camera, camera three, three. Okay. where's camera three at? <laughs> hey, this is this Cavs money right here. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Anybody who want to jump out there, man, come see me. Yeah. I got it on deck. There I it ain't got to wait to the next payday and stuff <laughs> like that. I ain't even got paid yet. But this is this Cavs money right there here. You feel what I'm saying? There it is. You're yeah, going to lose all that playing. if you're going for the Cavs. Yeah, you're going to lose all that. You know, if it don't go to the Cavs, it's going to be on somebody's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> How do they get at you, man? How do we contact Gary Jones? How do we get at you? Man, uh, Facebook, Gary Jones, Instagram, uh the real underscore Gary Jones, uh, Twitter or not Twitter, but uh, Snapchat, D A Real Gary Jones. Yeah, man, it's, it's it's definitely going down on my page for sure, for sure. All right, bro. Appreciate you. All right, Thanks man. For stopping appreciate back, bro. it. Appreciate it. My man.